There was a lot of pressure even in the movie industry to, to be able to tell immediately after the capture was seen, hey, do we have this or not, right? Uh, because we don't want to go, you know, we can't, we don't want to go home and take it to the, to the, not find out we don't have it until we have another day. Okay, so there's a lot of pressure to make the feedback, the animations available instantaneously. Well, as you push in that direction, it opens up opportunities to use this thing in a in a feedback environment where if you can if you really can get capture the motion and have it redisplayed on a on a computer monitor or on a headset quickly enough then you can make the person who's seeing this feel like they're moving around in a, a volume filled with computer animated Characters, and you can take this idea of being immersed in a virtual world, uh, when it's, of course it's a life and death situation for the for the training uh, people in in reality. But you can also create a hopefully an entertaining environment where people can go in and experience those kinds of things and have the rush and the thrill without necessarily knowing that it might actually happen to them the next day. And so uh, we see we see op opportunities there in gaming environments and then in medicine in terms of uh, again training with medical teams right and, and uh, doing the same sort of thing where okay you know you, you need to be here you need to deliver this at this time and so on and, and getting those kinds of experiences in a again no risk no uh, no life-threatening ramifications. So I think those are directions that we're likely to move. It's, it's right there on that uh, on the horizon. I think it's going to be a very powerful and exciting uh, opportunity for us and for our customers.